Hello and welcome to today's video. So this time we are taking a whistle stop tour through Emu Deck and the Steam Deck, playing a whole host of emulated systems. Now uh, I've got pretty much, well I think I've got about 20 different systems installed on here and I've put like a few games for each system on there and we'll have a little whiz through. Now I installed them using Emu Deck, which is like a flat pack for the uh, for the Steam Deck and it installs lots and lots of emulators in one hit. Um, I haven't done them all, but the ones that I have had a little experiment with, I've just put a few games for each system onto my uh, SD card, which is how I'm running these emulators from, and uh, we're going to have a little look through and uh, have a look at all the different ones, sort of semi-chronological order, and uh, just see how that they play. Uh, they don't all play perfect uh, out the box, to be honest, so uh, um, hopefully this you will find this quite useful. So obviously a little early system like the Atari 2600. I mean, you can play this on the most basic of basic smartphones. So as you can imagine, playing it on um, a Steam Deck, which is uh, you know, quite a powerful bit of kit, um, is not going to be any sort of problem at all. But I did at least want to show you just how good uh, that system looks. I was delighted to find Final Burn Alpha, which uses the RetroArch core, was also playing fantastically well. Um, I started playing this one on the little Ambernick uh, 350 devices and uh, really fell in love with Final Burn Alpha. It's basically like arcade ports um, on this bigger screen. Uh, and when I say bigger, it is slightly bigger than a Switch screen. Um, something like Final Burn Alpha plays really well and the sound of it in fact, the sound of the Steam Deck in general is pretty impressive, to say the least. Uh, I've not used it with uh, headphones yet, but it's fantastic with speakers. Now, this is the Nintendo 3DS, and uh, using the Citra emulator, which is also comes as part of Emu Deck. And this is one of their all-time classics, Bravely Default. I'll just show you a little bit here of the opening titles. one of the, the big things about the Steam Deck is people are looking to use it to emulate the very latest systems. Um, so we'll go up as far as the Nintendo Switch, the Wii U, uh, PlayStation 3. You can do original Xbox on it as well as streaming. So you could play your latest, say, Xbox games through the Xbox Live Pass and play all your latest games, as well as brand new AAA games from the Steam Store. I uh, haven't even got around to that yet, but here's... Uh, N64. This is using the RetroArch uh, core and um, absolutely fantastic. Um, this is one of the tougher games to emulate. Star Wars Pod Racer. And uh, I've I tried a few. I've tried Goldeneye as well. It plays fantastic. Really, really great. In fact, for N64, this is the best device I've ever played it on. Really, really great. I said I tried about half a dozen games and everything plays super, super fine. But this one I thought we'd test just to get an idea of the speed. Now these are fantastic. I know it's only the old Game Boy, but um, the way that um, Emu Deck does it is all the emulators have been pretty much um, set to the best possible settings. So they look really, really great. Um, these early systems have got bezels so you see on the left and right of the screen the screen is four by three and they filled up the rest of it with like the little bit of the game boy console and they do that with most of the older systems that are in four by three before we were all using widescreen tvs that's a particularly great little uh, game boy advanced game a Game Boy original game rather. This is for the Game Boy Color. This is Shantae. This is the original Shantae game. I'm a real fan of this series. I really love them all. Um, if you ever come across the original Shantae Game Boy Color cartridge, you found a little bit of gold. And in box, yeah, doing very, very well. But this is a great game if you've never played it. And a perfect way to do it is emulated. This is just the very start of a, of a story, but it's basically a platformer. Um, a lot of fun, and one of my favourite Game Boy Color games of all time. I uh, thought we'd better show a little bit of Game Boy Advance. Once again, this is using RetroArch. Here's uh, one of my favourite Game Boy Advance games, Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. 
really long and involved game uh, once again this looks fantastic on this system it really really does the sound is amazing the colors are really like sharp and vibrant um, it's the, the settings on this are perfection um, and that goes for any of the, uh, the the GBA games so I tried playing a couple of the first person shooters and they just haven't really held up so well on this bigger screen but something like this top down looks fantastic you won't go far wrong playing it on, on this device. Yeah, great stuff. Here's a bit of GameCube. Absolutely phenomenal on the Steam Deck. Every GameCube game I've tried, which admittedly is only a handful, but they all play really, really great. Um, beautiful, they just look so sharp. The sound is fantastic. Highly recommended GameCube playing through the Dolphin emulator um, on the Steam Deck. Fantastic. this is F-Zero which is one of the very, very quick racers and although we won't go straight into this I wanted to just show you just the little start the title screen for uh, Legend of Zelda The Wind Walker which once again is a delight to play on this device it's just gorgeous now I'm not going to be able to show you Switch coverage because uh, Nintendo are cracking down on people sharing videos showing their Nintendo Switch games playing, I guess because it is a current system. Um, but I will talk about it as we go along. This is a, a favourite Dreamcast game of mine, uh, Res. So on my Switch games, um, I've tried six different games so far. Earlier games, nothing too recent. And don't forget the Switch has been out for five years now. Um, Octopath Traveler, absolutely amazing. Amazing. Better than actually on the Switch itself. Um, uh, Super Mario Land, another fantastic one, plays superbly. Um, Legend of Zelda um, Ocarina of Time, not so good. Um, a little bit of stuttering, but I think it will probably... I mean, it's playable, it's just not perfect at the moment. Um, Captain Toad, Treasure treasure Hunter, fantastic, pixel perfect. Uh, Mario Kart, the same, absolutely fantastic. So if you are going to use the Switch, um, or play Switch games on this, using the Yuzu emulator, you're in for a treat. This is another of my favourite Dreamcast games. This is Jet Set Radio. There's a fantastic sequel on the Xbox called Jet Set Radio Future. I haven't um, installed the Xbox emulator. It doesn't come as part of Emu Deck, but um, I might well... I've never ever played the original Xbox emulated on any system, so uh, I shall look forward to giving that a try. If you do decide to use the Simu emulator to emulate the uh, Nintendo Wii U, you will have no problems at all. Everything plays absolutely perfectly. This is uh, the Sega Mega Drive, Stroke Gen Genesis, obviously RetroArch, you know, a very, very easy one to emulate, but I didn't want to not include it. I'm just showing you 20, 30 seconds of each system, just so you get an idea of just how capable this device is. And this is only one little bit of a Steam Deck, of course. This is a very expensive bit of kit just to use for emulation, so I certainly intend on um, playing much more up-to-date and involved games on it. But it's just come out, um, you know, only been out, as we film this, about three months. And uh, I ordered mine literally ten minutes after the orders were opened. I had my confirmation, and it arrived about a week or so ago. So I wasn't quite in the first batch, but I got it in the second batch, so I was quite happy with that. But as you can expect, no problem with something like uh, the Mega Drive. Now this is uh, PlayStation 2, this is the RPC SX2 emulator, now this actually, it, it, play, it looks like it plays well but there's a little bit of um, uh, sound glitching on this one straight out of the box and that's how I'm showing you these, I haven't tinkered with the settings at all and uh, maybe this one does just need a little bit of tinkering with but 
having become so used to Aether SX2 on my Android devices for playing PlayStation 2, this was a slight disappointment. I mean, it, it looks fantastic, but the sound is just not up there yet. So um, I think as Emu Deck constantly gets updated, which it is, and it is a fantastic bit of kit, I think the settings on that will be um, tweaked a little bit. And uh, here's another one here, Wipeout Pure. Another one I didn't want to... Uh, miss out showing you, you know, just a couple of PS2 games so you get a feel for it. I said it's not bad but the sound I'm afraid is spoiling it. So it's just not been optimised yet. Now, PSP fantastic now the one that comes with emu deck is like a version of ppss pp which is not that great to be honest i don't know what it is about it i went to the ppss pp dedicated website on my steam deck just downloaded the uh, the one from their website direct and i got much much better playability and much higher definition straight out of the box so i'm not this must be at least three or four times the original definition and it looks so much better than the one that came with emu deck and um, since the psp was one of my all-time favorite systems ever absolutely love it including uh, this particular game i wanted it looking as, as looking as good as possible i will be doing um, dedicated videos on each uh, emulated system and there's over 30 or 34 i think just on emu deck alone um, to cover so there's going to be a lot of steam deck content coming up so do make sure you hit the subscribe button um, and one of the very first dedicated videos and it's going to be like a half hour playthrough of say 20 or 30 games it's going to be on the psp because i absolutely love it i've already loaded over about 20 games onto the uh the sd card where i'm holding away uh game roms so uh look for that one quite soon another one of my all-time favorite pp sspp games on the psp and that's the uh, outrun 2006 coast to coast fantastic game this one really really accessible i love it on any platform on the original xbox love it on this one in the playstation 2 it's fantastic but this was the one that it just seemed to fit so well and ironically i've had the steam deck almost 10 days this is the game that i've played the most on it at the moment <laughs> if you can believe it um just crazy isn't it i do do love the psp anyway almost at the end now so i just wanted to show you this whistle stop tour through the steam deck and how i've been enjoying some of the emulators and this is only about half of them um, but as you can see i've got some of my my favorite ones there and you can give them like little title cards so uh, as bayonetta these some of these are wii u ones and some of them are switch ones but as i said unfortunately i don't want the video taken down by nintendo so um, i'm not going to show any gameplay until it is safe to do so but thank you very much for watching today if you like some more steam deck content do drop me a comment below, hit the like button and do subscribe because I've got loads more planned. Thanks for watching today. Bye.